How can we make this port even a way to develop your city faster, to grow uh, bigger, and to be sure that these events are shared with all your population? And this is the way we um, think about it, is how can a city share the passion and the purpose of great sport even? From one case study, which is the UEFA Euro Football Championship in 2016, we hosted, and the Olympics 2024 we are bidding for. So our approach is mainly simple. Firstly, is a permanent attention to all the stakeholders. A great sports event is not only the uh, event right holders or the athletes. It's the local population. We've seen, for example, during the World Cup uh, football in Brazil two years ago, that you need to engage your population before, during the tournament. If not, you have some troubles with uh, acceptability. Of course, your visitors, local ones, but uh, as well um, foreigner ones, and the sponsors, because they will help the city, the public authorities, uh, having less public funding in the program. For the Euro 2016, on which I will develop, we hosted from the 10th of June and 10th of July 2016, we have three pillars for the event. Share it, innovate thanks to it, and thinking with a long-term perspective. Share it on the first time. First, I just talk about it, share it with all the citizens, not only the fan, not only the football supporters, but all the people that live in your city and abroad and the suburbs to be sure it could be an energetic moment to gather all this French society and the Parisian society. Second part for hosting a great event, innovate. Innovate for more emotion for the fans, where, for example, the Europe's largest LED screen ever built. But as well, one of my favorite experiences during the Euro 2016. We create the first massive connected monuments. But innovate, again, not in the stadium only, not in the fan zone only, but in all the city. For the Euro 2016, we invented ITEX bus shelters for the visitors, smart signage in the street, but as well for touristic experience. Uh, for the supporters where they are not in a game or watching a game, uh, we have augmented reality experience thanks to their iPhone or uh, whatever mobile phone. They can experiment in augmented reality Paris and uh, explore uh, our city. Last pillars, long-term perspective. We've obviously, we have now the obligation of building sustainable events. That's why we had the standard certification ISO 2012-1 which is 164 action plans to be sure our event will be sustainable. And so we commit in, for example, management of water, energy, wastes, uh, but as well um, uh, democracy with the local people living around the stadium and the fan zone to have a sustainable approach of the event. So this is the mood, this is the figures. Three million visitors in Paris during the event. 1.2 million in the fan zone, in which we have 92% of satisfaction rate. We made surveys at the exit of the fan zone, and 30% were foreign supporters. But as well, a good news for French and Parisian economy, plus 6% on visit Paris request on Google, the event uh, make Paris on a top of mind destination. They, they, that increased the number of people preparing a trip to Paris, but as well, plus 5% reservation on online travel agencies during, the, during the, the months of the competition. An unbelievable media coverage for our city, 6,000 international broadcast stories during uh, the months of the tournament, 120 countries covered by the media, and 1.5 million live broadcast, hours of live broadcast uh, from the fan zone itself. And maybe it's the most important for us, a strong legacy for our citizen, for the Parisians themselves. Sports development, for one year before the tournament, until the end of the tournament, uh, we make sport promotion, football promotion, for guys and for girls, for little ones and older ones. And so now people in Paris are doing much more football than they did. Millions of non-football fans have been engaged, and it was one of the big stakes we wanted demonstrate that sport is not only for sports fans, but can be a great celebration for all the people uh, united.